Get on up in here. Get on up in here. It is that time of the year where the Christmas trees start to come out. And I am super duper uber fantastically excited about it. And I am excited. I cannot wait to get my first Christmas tree finished. Um, let's talk about this. Let's talk about it. Cause you know, it's, it's different. It's different thought patterns out there. I think that anytime you want to put the Christmas tree up, it's perfectly fine. But you have some people that feel like the Christmas tree do not go up until the day after Thanksgiving. And I mean the day after Thanksgiving. So on Black Friday, you need to be putting your Christmas tree up. Or it's some people out there that believe that the Christmas tree go up on Thanksgiving all the family and friends are there. That way they can help put the Christmas tree together and get everything decorated, go to sleep, wake up, go to Black Friday, shop, and then you have a tree that's already prepared. And then you have some that feel like the Christmas tree need to be up before Thanksgiving because that way when the people come, to eat some good old nice ham, turkey greens, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, and the list goes on, then the house is already decorated extremely nice. Drop down in the comment section and let me know, Do you when do you put your Christmas tree up? When do you put yours up? Today, I'm going to be assembling my tree because I wanna make sure that the lights on the tree actually works so i know if i need to go and buy another christmas tree we'll do let's go ahead grab the tree and dive right in because it's a few other things that we're going to be doing and i have butter sitting out right here because we are going to be making one of the most delicious coffee drinks and drop down in the comment section let me know are you a coffee drinker or are you a tea drinker and did you have your coffee or your tea today now i still got a long day ahead of me so this coffee is getting ready to do me just right i made this drink for laura she doesn't drink coffee but she was like that smell good what what you drinking like so i went ahead made laura a cup and she lost it completely lost it came in the next day and she was like, did you make some coffee? Did you make some coffee? And instead of me giving her, giving Laura the same exact coffee, I'm like, here, try this. Hooked on that one too, okay? Baby, don't come around me and say you ain't no coffee drinker because I'm gonna make you a coffee drinker, baby. You're gonna be like, you, did you make a pot? And I'm gonna tell you, I got a fresh pot on or let me put a pot on. And actually, we getting ready to go ahead and start up a fresh pot. So let's get to it. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna have to move this stand that's behind me out and then we can pop the Christmas tree together. Okay, here's the first piece right here. And here is Oh. 
this got to be the second piece right here. Has to be. Okay. We'll go with this first piece first. The tree is up now. We are going to make the topping, if you will, that's going to go in our coffee, our coffee additive. And when I tell you, it's going to be so delicious. So let me tell you what you need. You gonna need some maple syrup. Ah, 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 I don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. Let me tell you something, baby. That's why I can't lose this weight now. Okay. That's why I got this big bag. I'm telling you, it's going to be good. Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm saying? So get you some maple syrup. Now I will say this. If you can get your hands on some organic maple syrup is, oh, it's even, it's even better, but I'm using what I have on hand and that is Miss Buttersworth. Now I was hoping that my son was going to send me some organic maple syrup because we was on the phone we was talking and he told me he had came across some i thought he was gonna send me some but that didn't happen so son if you are watching this i need my maple syrup okay thank you okay so now our butter it's soft to the touch so that's what we need and then you also need the maple syrup our coffee is already brewed when i tell you you can save so much money. Forget Starbucks. What y'all drink? Drop down there in the comment section. When you out on the go and you need a coffee, do you do Starbucks? Do you do, what's the other one name? My good, good girlfriend, baby. She stopped there all the time. What is the name? I can't even call it. You will call her. What is the name of that? I cannot call it. I see it plain as day. I went there before. I got a, some type of, drink that was kind of equivalent to a frappuccino scooters that's what it is so she go to scooters she swear by scooters where do you stop do you stop at a local coffee shop lie. when you go to those coffee shops that are like small town like coffee shops baby they know how to do it and brew it do you hear what i'm saying all the way down so let's go ahead and let's get this drink started we're gonna use, all you need is a stainless steel saucepan. That's it, that's all. And we want our heat, we want our heat to be low. So we're gonna eye it. About that much. Now lift it off the heat. Lift it off the heat. We're gonna lift it off the heat. We're gonna let it sizzle on down. We're gonna put our maple syrup in there. Just enough so now that the maple syrup is covering the butter. It's gonna look like so. And you just gonna let this cook for a little bit. And you wanna stir it. And with a little bit of butter on the top. Stir that right on in. Just like that, you're gonna stir that right in. Just kind of let it melt. It's gonna be so good. 
Okay. See, it's coming to a boil. Ran off. Just like that. Can y'all see that? You want it to just run off just like that. Ooh. Let's get our coffee. You have a stirrer. Use your stirrer. If not, get you out of whisk. So what we're going to do, we are going to get our cup of coffee then actually what I'll do is to show you how much of the syrup I use, I'll put that in first. So you see, at this point, I'm gonna use about this much. You don't, you don't need much. Now, if you want it sweeter, you can use a little bit more. That's it, that's all you need. A little bit more. All right, now we're gonna get our coffee. Leave a little bit of room. And I am, I am, yes, the ready with. That's why I said you don't need that much of the syrup. And you see it's already, it's all the way off my spoon now. Come on, get on up in here. It's off my spoon. Okay. Just to stir it up. I'm telling you, when it comes to coffee, baby, I enjoy myself. I sit down, I drink my coffee. It's an instant stress reliever. You know what I was watching the other day? Martha Stewart has a documentary out and I sat down and watched it. It's on Netflix. If you get the chance to watch it, if you have Netflix, you totally need to sign up for Netflix because, and I'm not sure if I could put a link in my bio for you to sign up for Netflix, but if you have it, I'm telling you when I watched it and they're dubbing Martha Stewart as the first influencer. It goes back and forth from her childhood, how she grew up. It goes over her marriage, just how she got her company up. And when I tell you it was just inspirational for me because let me tell you something, Martha Stewart got so many no's before she got yeses. And people knew Martha Stewart was a raw talent. They knew it, it was right in front of her face. When I tell you, when I was watching that, I was just so encouraged. I was so encouraged just watching the Martha Stewart documentary. So if you are a Martha Stewart fan, I'm telling you, it is a great watch. And if you are not a Martha Stewart fan, but you do YouTube, Definitely watch that documentary. Definitely going to give you the kick that you did not know that you needed. But what we're going to do, I'm not even going to add no whipped cream because it's just that good. I was getting ready to be extra, but I'm supposed to be on a diet. So I just caught myself. I literally just caught myself. I was getting ready to add this whipped cream in here, but I'm not even going to add the whipped cream because I already got the syrup that we don't. Let me stop. Let me stop. Okay. okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to be hey. Just right, baby, I ain't even need no cream in there. No whipped cream in there. It is good. It is delicious. Yes. 
I'm gonna add a little bit more. So what we're going to do, I do want to fizzle out my Christmas tree just a little bit, and then we're going to move on to our next subject. Everything is uploading, so it should be just a second. I have been on a journey to find a greenhouse, and I know some of you all down in the comment section, you were talking about how you yourself would love to have your dream greenhouse. And so first we talked about the Hartley greenhouse. Now we're going to be talking about a BC greenhouse. Now this gives us another option and I'll tell you the pros and the cons and why BC greenhouse may or may not work for me here in my small garden. I have been on this journey for a very long time. When I tell you a very long time, I'm talking about almost 10 year journey for a greenhouse here now let's see hold on one second because I want to make sure I'm giving you the right quote and so with this greenhouse it included bay roof window vents a storm door an exhaust fan thermostat shade cloth, decorative gutter. And then because I live in the Midwest and we are prone to having like tornadoes and things of that nature, I went ahead and I upgraded it up to 100 mile per hour wind loads. And then I figure anything outside of that, the insurance company got me. So I definitely would add my greenhouse into my homeowner's insurance package. So of course, my insurance would, my homeowner's insurance would go up um, on the back end, but it's definitely worth it. So with everything, I would be looking at $25,000. Now, here is the thing. That's just for the greenhouse itself. I started thinking, I said, okay, this could be a good thing, you know, because it's cheaper than, you know, the Hartley greenhouse. But what threw me off is I would have to find a contractor to put this together or I would have to put it together myself, right? So that's just for the greenhouse versus with the Hartley, you do the foundation and then they come and they do the top of the Hartley. Now, the quotes that I have been getting for installing the greenhouse from BC Greenhouse have been anywhere from twenty to thirty thousand dollars. And then. I had one contractor that came out, I told him what I was looking at. I told him the site. I told him the stipulations that the city was talking about, you know, where they would approve it, how far it had to be off. You know, it's, it's an actual, you know, these are the requirements in order for you to legally have this greenhouse here on your property. You have to do this. You have to do that. So he's seen all of that. His suggestion was a shed. Baby, I didn't call you out here to, for you to tell me, don't go with a greenhouse. 
go with a shed. I, that's not what I called you out here for. He was talking about the shed. I was like, no, how much would it be to actually put this together? Can you install it? Da, da, da. He said he could do it. He said it, could, it would take him some time. And he told me this was the price. He told me this, how many days he think it would take. And then he said he would go home. He would type it up. I get an email from him because I like to do everything I wanted on paper. I need it on paper. So he gave me the quote, you know, verbal quote. And he said, my verbal quote will be the same thing as my written quote. But since you want it, I'll go ahead and type it up. So apparently he goes home, types it up. I get the email and it's four times the amount of money that he said. I go ahead and I call him. I was like, hey, you know, you said your verbal quote is the same thing as your written quote. He was like, that's until I went home and found out that my wife watches you on YouTube. Ain't that some shade? So I was like, okay, all right, thank you. You know, I appreciate it, da-da-da. You know, if your services are needed, I'll reach back out. So that's where I'm at as far as the BC Green House. Well, a lot of you all were Partly like, Partly is nice, but go with this option. So that's kind of where I'm sitting at. I have a construction company that's coming out like a real deal construction company that's coming out to give me a quote. I mean, all of them are construction companies. So I can't even say that because that will be throwing shade. Even down to the guy who was like, go with the shed, da, da, da. He's the actual construction company. I have seen his work. He does beautiful work and the St. Louis region. I mean, beautiful work, which is why we we was talking. But I have another company. They have me on their schedule. They're coming out in two weeks to give me a quote on the BC Greenhouse. They're giving me a quote on like how much it would be in order to put the foundation and then install the top of the greenhouse once it comes. The only thing that has me worried about them is it took me forever to get a date for the guy that comes out and does the estimates. It took forever. So if it took me that long to get an appointment for a foundation, how long will it take for the foundation to get put in? Because I got to plan all of this stuff out. Once they come, then I'll know which direction I'm going to go in. So when I tell you like it is like a pretty penny Although I will save money with the BC greenhouse, if I was like a do-it-yourselfer, baby, I'd be up there putting that greenhouse together myself. I sure would. They say it's easy. They say anybody can do it. But I feel like when you're spending that type of money, like $25,000, $30,000, dollars $50,000, I feel like I want to have somebody that knows more than me putting it together. So that's where I am with my greenhouse journey. I would totally love to hear your thoughts on that. I'm going to continue to keep you all in the loop. And have you all started putting up your Christmas decorations? Totally would love to hear about it. And let me know if you guys end up trying the maple butter coffee because that's essentially what it is in the maple when i tell you if you want a cheat code to making some easy caramel yeah yeah uh-huh let me know if you all tried the coffee recipe it's going to give you like the the flavors and the tones is a maple with a buttery taste to it but then it's going to kind of give off those hints and hues of caramel ooh, 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 ooh. yes honey yes